my husband and I were going on a date one night and we were running behind and who would show up but a brick paver to repair the driveway. Well, I went on in to get my shower and left my husband there hoping he'd come on soon behind. I wash off and I get out of the shower and I decide to put my makeup on and I can't even read the big E on the chart without my glasses. And you can't put makeup on without glasses, with your glasses. And so I fumbled around trying to find my clothes because I realized I didn't have anything to wear. And I only had a bra in the bathroom, so I put it on. And then I realized I was gonna have to go all the way to the laundry room for my underwear. So I step out of the bedroom into the family room on my way there, and there stands my husband doing nothing. He's not getting ready. And I said, what are you doing back in here? And he said, nothing. He just stood there. And I had a two-minute dissertation with him saying, come on, the babysitter's going to be here any minute. You've got to get ready. Oh, I was so annoyed. He said or did nothing. And finally, he said, well, and he seemed to be looking over to my left. So I turned to my left, and there stood Dave, the brick paver. Oh my gosh, I ran to my bedroom laughing my head off. And my 12-year-old daughter said, Mom, that man just saw you naked and you're laughing. I said, listen, honey, it is too late now to cry. And we got into the car and I said, Kenny, why didn't you say something? And he said, what did you want me to say? Hello, this is my wife? Oh, we got a big chuckle out of that, too. And that reminds me of something we could all learn from that sage, Mickey Mouse, just down the street from us. He says, if you can learn to laugh at yourself, you can learn to love yourself. Thank you. Thank you.